Next question pose by Kinsa Saif from Lahore, Pakistan. I am an electrical engineer. I want to say that you are my favorite human being on this earth. I am a huge fan of yours. May Allah grant me the Iman you possess. Ameen. And may Allah give you the reward for your hard work in this path. Ameen. May you live a very beautiful and long life. Ameen. Many are there. Ameen. We need you a lot. The Muslim Ummah needs you. I also want to spread Islam and become a Dai. Please pray for me. Inshallah, may Allah make you Dai. I really wish I had a father like you. The values and Islamic teachings of Islam you have given to your children. I wish you were my father. Sir, I want to ask one question. Hope it won't be personal. I see you as a perfect human being. But everyone has flaws, right? Yes, you are right. I want to know what are your bad habits you want to change or what is that bad thing in you which you want to change or trying your level best to overcome that thing. I am asking because I believe that there would be nothing you want to change, right? Question mark. Sir, I also want to ask what is your favorite food and of which country? I think biryani must be your favorite as you have mentioned biryani in your talks a lot. The sister is basically, she's a fan of mine and, and she has praised me and may Allah not hold me responsible for whatever she has said. Uh, may Allah forgive her for what she does not know about me and may Allah make me better than what she thinks about me. Regarding, she said that she thinks I am a perfect human being and that's totally wrong and she says that every human being has a fault and she's right. My answer is that I have got several umpteen number of faults. The best exemplary human being is our beloved Prophet Muhammad And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4, that verily in the Prophet will you find a beautiful pattern of conduct. Allah says in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, verily in the Prophet is a beautiful example to follow. So the best exemplary human being on the face of the earth is the beloved Prophet Muhammad He is the best. Regarding what are the faults in me, Allah says in the Quran, it is human to err. I have got many faults. What would I like to change? Number one, I would like to increase my knowledge. The knowledge I have is less than a drop in the ocean. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me more knowledge, more knowledge. And I pray Rabbi is the ilma that may Allah increase my knowledge and I keep on praying and I do a lot of du'as for many things for a halal income and may my actions be accepted by Allah there are many du'as regarding one flaw that I have that what do you say in English language I'm a perfectionist no human being is perfect I know that but there's an English word called as perfectionist and I want to make everything the best this trait of being a perfectionist is good and bad both. In most of the things it benefits me, but sometimes it becomes a burden. Everything that I want to do, I want to do it to the best. And sometimes things which are not important also, I waste my time trying to make it better. I'll give you a simple example. That when I send text messages to my staff, and some of my staff don't even know English well. But since I have to communicate, they send me a message. And when I'm giving them a reply, because of the type of error, O becomes I and I becomes O. And if the spelling is wrong, there's a typing error is there. I go out of the way to go and correct it and read it. That's not required. The person doesn't know English well. So what difference does it make that if there is a spelling error? But that is my nature. I'm a perfectionist. I'm not a perfect human being at all. I'm a perfectionist. My nature is to try and make everything to the best. And that's very helpful in the field of Dawah, in the field of Islam. I try and strive a lot to see to it that whatever I do, whether it be a little thing or a medium thing or a big thing, I do it. I do it to the best of my ability. This is good and bad also. In more cases it is good, but sometimes it wastes your time in small things and it prevents you from doing other good things. I pray to Allah to, to remove all my faults and 
and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he accept my efforts, whatever is in his way. The main thing is may Allah accept your effort. And whatever said and done, one thing is for sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me millions and billions of times. And the ni'amah that he has given me, I would not like to exchange my position with anyone in this world. And all the people that I know, I don't know everyone in the world, but all the people that I know, the kings and the presidents and the prime minister of the country and the celebrities, all that I know, I am happy to be what I am, as I am, as a package. There are many things I want to improve, but if anyone tells me that if Allah gives you the option, would you like to swap your position with anyone in the world living today? I am happy with what I am. I am not claiming that I am the best human being in the world. Nowhere am I claiming that I am the best Muslim in the world. There may be many Muslims who will be 100 times better than me. We may not be knowing about them. But among the people that we know, the kings, I am happy with what I am. Because as a package, I am happy that my akhirah at least is secured, inshallah, if Allah accepts my effort, rather than the position of the celebrities and this king and the prime minister and the presidents. How many of them would go to Jannah? Allah knows the best. So whatever I am, I thank Allah for the position he has given me. For all the qualities, I have got very, very negligible qualities, but Allah has put love in the hearts of millions of people who love me. So the love is not because I'm a good speaker. It is because Allah has done a favor to me. And Allah has put love for me in your hearts. Otherwise, there are thousands of people who have more knowledge than me. There are tens of thousands of people who are more intelligent than me. There are tens of thousands of people who are better orators than me. But yet Allah has put that love in the hearts of the human me for me. There are hundreds of thousands of non-Muslims who love me. There are millions of Muslims who love me, alhamdulillah. So this is only haza min fazli rabbi. It is only because of the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what Allah has given me niyama, I would not like to exchange my position with anyone presently living in this world. There may be hundreds of people better than me who I may not be aware of. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive my mistakes and forgive my sins. Regarding the last question, that which is my best food? Is it biryani? My best food, before I was married, it was the food made by my mother. And now, it is the best food for me, is the food made by my wife. I'm a person who's satisfied, mashallah, because I see more for the things which will get me benefit in Akhara. The food that my wife makes, I'm not claiming she's the best cook, but for me, she makes the best food for me. And I would prefer the curry khichdi made by my wife than the biryani. I do use the word biryani in my lecture because biryani is a delicacy for the people of the Indian subcontinent, for the people of India, for the people of Pakistan. That is the reason I give examples of food which are popular. If it's a kari khichdi, that will not be the best food for many of the human beings. So the simple food made by my wife, I prefer than the biryani made by the chef outside. And I'm very satisfied and I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to give me this position.